after that mitochondria chloroplast plastids before that plastids plastids are generally present in plants plastids are generally present in plants and euglenoids euglenoids <coughs> so this plastids okay so providing it means uh, this plastids are okay performing that uh, different process okay so generally this plant depend upon the location plastids are three types first one is that chloroplast second one is the chromoplast third one is that leucoplast chloroplasts are okay having that chlorophyll pigment chloroplasts having that chlorophyll pigments chlorophyll pigments and carotenoids right so this chlorophyll pigments and carotenoids able to absorbing light energy okay from the sunlight and convert into that chemical energy so involve in photosynthesis process chloroplast do the presence of chlorophyll pigment they absorb light energy convert into chemical energy convert into chemical energy to synthesize food material carbohydrates as starch to synthesize carbohydrates as starch that is known as that photosynthesis this process is known as that photosynthesis process okay after that chromoplast chromoplast are lipid soluble pigments lipid soluble pigments lipid soluble pigments okay so they provide color to that parts of plants parts of plant okay for example flowers soft petals flower of petals appear red orange yellow color due to the presence of okay so chromoplast so this chromoplast are carotenoids so in that carotenoids again two types carotenes 
and second one is that Jyanto uh, fields. Carotenes providing orange and red and yellow, orange and red. Jyanto fields providing that yellow in color. Okay, and other pigments are also present. So in that uh, chromoplast. Okay, so after that. Next, third one is the leucoplast. So, leuco means white, plast means sacs like structures, okay, white bodies. So, they do not have color. They do not have color. They do not have color, okay. So, they are present in that, uh, okay, deeper layers in plant cells. They are present in They are present in, they are present in deeper layers, deep layers of plant tissue, plant tissues, deeper layers of plant tissues, okay. So in the leucoplast sunlight is, so where that Sunlight is not exposed. Sunlight is not exposed. Okay, they are present in the sunlight, ex is not uh, exposed in that plant body. So it means they store food material. Based on storage of food material, based on storage of food material, there are three types. First one is that amyloplast. Amylam means protein. So, which leucoplast stores food? Stores food in the form of starch. Stores food in the form of starch. So, they are known as that uh, amyloplast. After that, eluronplast. Eluron plast means stores food in the form of protein. In the form of protein. Amyloplast example starch generally rice, java, potato, maize. So just like that all the grains and potato so the storage of food material in the form of starch aluron plast example pulses means groundnut not grams red grams green grams black grams so this all the pulses stores food in the form of protein and also bean and also that bean okay so after that
helioplast <coughs> helioplast so helioplast means they stored food material in the form of in the form of pears so in the form of pears okay they are known as that uh, helioplast so for example it means some seeds having that uh, pears what are that groundnut castor seed mustard coconut sunflower okay so these are the fat containing seeds fat containing seeds so they are known as that helioplast okay after so in this first one is that chloroplast this first one is that chloroplast chloroplast means green okay chloro means green 